Hello and welcome to another whiskey review on Matt's Cigars and Whiskey. Now as you can see from the title in this video, in this review, we're going to be going through an absolute sherry bomb. It's a, it's a blended whiskey and it is an absolute brute of a sherry bomb. You know, this is, yeah, it, it is nice. It is nice. It's the Thompson Brothers, aged over six years, blended sherry whiskey. Now, TB, BSW, I'm presuming that stands for Thompson Brothers Blended Sherry Whiskey. If it doesn't, I would love to know what else it could stand for, because that just, you know, that just makes sense to me. And it's wrestled and bottled from the Doorknock Distillery up in Scotland. Now, this is not the bottle it would normally come in. This has come in, this bottle, because, as it says on the top, extra special bottle due to a severe glass shortage it's a 2022 glass shortage edition now i'll just read a little bit off the back um Dornock distillery was, dis was founded by brothers phil and simon thompson in 2016 the distillery creates whiskies using a mixture of traditional and modern methods embracing and harnessing natural seasonal variation to create flavor packed spirits this small batch blended scotch whiskey is composed of carefully chosen single malt and single grain whiskies they have all been aged for more than six years before being blended and rested and then bottled by us at the Doorknock Distillery. We have selected the components of this whiskey to celebrate sherry maturation and its character is inspired by the sherry forward blends of the past. Um, the last little bit on here just says, once, once rested, this whiskey is slowly diluted to a 46% ABV, an excellent balance of easy drinking, quaffability and forward um, flavoured intensity it is then bottled now this is the good bit without chill filtration and no coloration is added now what I will say um, if you look at the colour of this bottle when I saw it online I looked at that and I was like well it cannot be that colour um, as in the whiskey and it's not the bottle's obviously got a slight red hue to it which gives the impression that it's a lot darker than what it is but but we'll get to the whiskey in a minute and then I can actually show you it itself. But I believe this was 40 pounds. It's between 35 and 40 pounds at the minute. So for that you're getting a 46% non-chill filtered, no coloration added, sherry bomb. Sound good? Let's actually take a little drink of this whiskey, nose it, get the flavors and let's see where we go from it. But on paper, that sounds like an absolute beauty of a whiskey so let's see where it takes us now first things first coloration as you can see it's very very rose goldy colored there's obviously a massively red hue in there it's sherry inspired it is a sherry blend whiskey so you're expecting to see those ready rosy colored coloration in there which it has got now when it comes to viscosity, it's not free run and it's not massively viscosity though. There's no, not massively oily. It does run down the side, not super freely, don't get me wrong, but it is running down the side a little bit freely, which would say that it's, it's a little bit watery. Don't get me wrong, it has been watered down to 46% from its original ABV. But that's no issue. That is no issue. We're, let's see where it takes us when we go through the nosing and the tasting of it. I have to say, when I first opened the bottle and nosed this, oh my word. I'm not saying I'm a super fan of sherry whiskies, but I do like sherry whiskies. Plum jam, Christmas spice. Masses of stewed dark fruits. And a slightly salty maritime, like a damp seaweedy smell in the background. It smells delicious. It really does. You know, all those combinations of all those smells going in together, coming from this, it is super inviting. It really is. It smells absolutely fantastic. Mm. A fruity bomb with a slightly damp, salty, seaweedy type smell in the background. 
delicious, absolutely delicious smelling. But of course, let's taste it. Let's take it on the palate. Let's see where we go when we actually taste this whiskey. That is so delicious. Absolutely beautiful. It's plummy, it's cakey. There's a little bit of ginger spice in there. There's a little tiny pinch of simmers and cinnamon rolling round as well. Masses of dark fruits in there. Absolutely masses of dark fruits. And right at the back of that, you get a pinch of cocoa as well. Not chocolate, but like a cocoa-y, powdery type taste. It is, oh, it is beautiful. I wouldn't say it's really, really bitter dark chocolate at the back, but it's a slight dark chocolate that comes through, like a real high cocoa content dark chocolate. That tastes delicious. It really, really does. The finish of this, don't get me wrong, the finish of this is not a massive, long-lasting flavour explosion within the mouth. It tails off, not super quick, but it does tail off slightly quick at the end. But you're mainly getting from this sweet spice, you're getting Christmassy, come, Christmas cakiness come through. Like a really, really dense cake with sultanas, raisins, cherries inside it. Absolutely delicious. You're getting cinnamon swirls as well coming towards the end of this. That cinnamon spice sort of slowly peters off. But as it peters off, it turns in as ice and sugar on top of it as well. You know, that is the cakiness mixed in with the cinnamon. And at the very end of that finish, the dark chocolate just lingers around on the tongue. It's beautiful. It really, really is. Thompson Brothers have created a fantastic whiskey here. You know, it's over six years. And the price range of it, you cannot moan at that price at all. It is an absolute bargain. It's a stunning whiskey. I'm not even going to add any water to this because that is a that is a beauty on its own and I wouldn't even want to add the water to see if it takes away any of the flavours because that is such a well-balanced blend. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. It really is. It is absolutely fantastic. And like I say, for that price range, 35 to 40 pounds for this, just have a look for it on the internet. You know, if you like your sherry whiskies, you will not go wrong with this at all. Mmm, delicious. Right. Anyway, like I say, I'm not even going to bother adding water to that. It's, it's, <sighs> perfection's quite a um, big word to throw at it. But I believe that that is as well-rounded and as balanced in the flavours of any blend that you will be able to find with those type of sherried heavy bombs within them. They've done very well. Very, very well. Very well indeed. Right, anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Um, you take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next review. Slancher.